I'm 12 years old and I live in Brighton. I like taking songs and stories from the internet and making films around them. Yep, it's kind of fun finding the things. What's your favourite? Me and my dad found one about Jim Jones. It's kind of sad, but it's about life. Jim Jones? Life stop. The TV news sells the dark. Yeah. How very much I've loved you. How very much I've tried my best to give you the good life. But in spite of all of that I've tried, a handful of our people, with their lives, have made our life impossible. There's no way to detach ourselves from what's happened today. Not only we're in a compound situation, not only are there those who have left and committed the betrayal of the century, some have stolen children from others and they're in pursuit right now to kill them because they stole their children. And we, we are sitting here waiting on a powder keg. I don't think this is what we want to do with our babies. I don't think that's what we had in mind to do with our babies. It was said by the greatest of prophets from time immemorial, no man lay, takes my life from me, I lay my life down. So. To, to sit here and wait for the catastrophe that's going to happen on that airplane, it's going to be a catastrophe. Almost happened here. Almost happened. The congressman is nearly killed here. But you can't steal people's children. You can't take off with people's children without expecting a violent reaction. And that's not so unfamiliar to us either. If we, even if we were Judeo-Christian, if we weren't communists, the world, the kingdom, suffers violence, and the violence shall take it by force. If we can't live in peace, then let's die in peace. We've been so betrayed. We have been so terribly betrayed. So, uh, so what's so special about Jim Jones? He gets on your skin, you know. My dad says he's mad, but people in the audio, they just follow him. They know he's wrong, they question him, but they do it anyway. And how does that make you feel? That's the question. I guess you feel empowered. People are stupid. Well, I don't see it like that. I mean, I feel like that as long as there's life, there's hope. That's my faith. Well, some everybody dies. <laughs> some place that hope runs out because everybody dies. I haven't seen anybody yet didn't die. And I like to choose my own kind of death for a change. I'm tired of being tormented to hell. That's what I'm tired of. I'm tired of it. Twelve hundred people's lives in my hands, and I certainly don't want your life in my hand. But I'm going to tell you, Christine, without me. Life has no meaning. I'm the best friend you'll ever have. And once, once I have to pay, I'm standing with you, Jara. I'm standing with those people. They're part of me. I can detach myself. My attorney says detach myself. No, 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 no. I never detached myself from any of your troubles. I've always taken your troubles right on my shoulders. And I'm not going to change that now. It's too late. I've been running too long. I'm not going to change now. Maybe the next time you get to go to Russia, the next time around. This is, what I'm talking about the now is in the dispensation of judgment. This is a revolutionary, this is a revolutionary suicide council. I'm not talking about self-destruction. Self I'm talking about what we have no other road. I will take your, your call, we will put it to the Russians, and I can tell you the answer now because I'm a prophet. Call the Russians and tell them to see if they'll take us.
I said I'm afraid to die. I don't think no you means. are. I don't think you are. But uh, I look at our babies and I think they deserve I, to live. I agree. You know? They des but also they deserve what's more they deserve peace. We all came here for peace. You and know? we've have we had it? No. I tried to give it to you. I've laid down my life practically. I've practically died every day to give you peace. And you still not had any peace. You look better than I've seen you in a long while, but it's still not the kind of peace that I wanted to give you. So, a person's a fool that continues to say that you're a winner when you're losing. Win one, lose two. What? I didn't hear you, ma'am. You have to speak up. That's a sweet thought. Who said that? C come on up and speak it again, honey. Say, come up and say it about to talk about. It's taken off. No plane is taken off. It's suicide. They have done it. Stone has done it. Somebody ought to listen. Somebody. Can they talk? Can they not talk to San Francisco? See, the stone does not get by with this infamy. This is infamy. He has done the thing he wanted to do. To have us destroyed. When you, when you, when we destroy ourselves, we're defeated. We let them, the enemy, defeat us. Did you see, did you see I live to fight no more forever? Yes, I saw that. Did you not have some sense of pride and victory in that man? He would not subject himself to the will and whim of people who tell him that they're going to come in whenever they please and push into our house, come when they please, take who they want to, talk to who they want to. Is this that living? That's not living to me. That's not freedom. That's not the kind of freedom I sought. But I think where they made their mistake is when they stopped to rest. If they had gone on, they would have made it. But they stopped to rest. It's over, sister. It's over. We made that day. We made a beautiful day. And let's make it a beautiful day. That's what I mean. So tell me about the first person you murdered. First person? Okay. She wasn't a friend that she thought she was. We went for a walk. She didn't come back. Didn't people think it was odd? Police asked me a lot of questions. They looked for her everywhere. They told her to look. They didn't end up looking in the right place. I wish she was still there. How did you do it? I don't know. So in the past, this man was truly with still with the sign now. I'm Tell me about the next people you killed. Down in the holiday, camping up in the woods. 
made friends with their daughter. We spent the half term together. I took her for walks, showed her lots of things. We played dance by the stream. Went fishing, did some mushrooms. They didn't suffer. And the kind of therapy that I did had to do with reincarnation and past life situations. And every time anybody had the experience of, of going into a past life, I was fortunate enough through Father to be able to let them experience it all the way through their death, so to speak. And everybody was so happy when they made that step to the other side. When you step, there's no other thing you can do but step that way. It's the only way to step. <laughs> that choice is not ours now. It's out of our hands. If you have a body that's been crippled, suddenly you have the kind of body that you want. A little rest. A little rest. It feels Calm good. You've never felt so good, family, I tell you. You've never felt so good is how that feels. And I do hope that those attorneys will stay where they belong and don't come up here. What is it? What is it? It's hard, it's hard, only at first, only at first is it hard. It's hard, only at first. How didn't they suffer? Didn't know They got really bad for my break. So they went home. That cat does that, you know. Dad says it destroys the liver and kidneys. What happened? The coroner said misadventure. Living, you're looking at death, it's only looks, to, living is much, much more difficult. Raising up every morning and not knowing what's going to be the night's bringing, it's much more difficult. It's much more difficult. I just want to uh, say something to everyone that I see that is standing around and uh, crying. This is nothing to cry about. This is something we should all rejoice about. We should be happy about this. They always told us that we should cry when you're coming into this world. Well, when we're living it and we're living it peaceful, I think we should be we should be happy about this. I was just thinking about Jim Jones. He just has suffered and suffered and suffered. We, he is the only God, and he never even had a chance to enjoy his death here. One more thing. This is one thing I want to say. That few that's gone, there's many more here. He's still, well, he, that's not all of us. That's not all yet. That's just a few that has got a chance to get to the one that they could tell their story to, their lives to. So by this stage, you're quite the accomplished poisoner. Yep. Out of all the people you killed, what was your favorite? We used to think this world, this world's not our home. Well, it sure isn't. As we were saying, it sure wasn't. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to tell him. All he's doing, if they will tell him, assure these children. Can some people assure these children of the relaxation of stepping over to the next plane? We've we set an example for others. We've set 1,000 people who say we don't like the way the world is. Please stop. Take our life from us. We laid it down. We got tired. We didn't commit suicide. We committed an act of revolutionary suicide, protesting the conditions of an inhumane world.
I like to make food and give it to the church mates. That's really good fun. Food? Like what? Cakes with aconite in them. The most toxic plant in Britain. Beautiful, deadly, tasteless. Cakes? Oh, I like these cakes. Exactly. Do you think I would tell it to someone and let them live? But Dingo and Fum keep moving. And Dingo and Fum keep moving. But all merry and bright. When Dingo and Fum, one nod of the head, two legs, what? Two arms.